Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com. My name is Torio, and today it is Send Me Music Friday, episode 16. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. It is episode 16. We got a lot of great music to go over, so let's get it started. First up is the C.A. Rob, and the song is called Deadshot. This is a hip-hop artist from California. For the production, the track is good. There's lots of bass and it hits hard. It sounds really, really good in the right speakers. His vocals are interesting. He has a faster type flow. Sometimes he seems a little offbeat though, but I still like his flow a lot. The lyrical content, his lyrics are fine. He has some really cool wordplay in there, and I really dig that. The sound quality is fine, except his vocals are almost too loud maybe in the mix. It's something about his vocals. They need to blend in better with the rest, maybe. All in all, I enjoyed it. He has a great flow. I love the wordplay, like I said. He has good writing of lyrics, but something is off about the vocals. But it wasn't a deal breaker. I still enjoyed the song a lot. So I want you to go check it out down below and let me know what you think. Next up is Effect. And the name of the song is As This Ink Spills. This is a hip-hop artist from Indiana. His production, it's a nice track. Well-produced, powerful drums, and I love that. The drum, I'm big on the drums. His vocals, he has a solid flow. He sounds good. I really dug his style and just the straightforward flow that he has. Lyrical content, it, they are well-written lyrics. There's a story behind it and there's substance. Sound quality, it was recorded and mixed very well. All in all, it's a strong song. Professionally done. I really enjoyed it. So check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Next up is Trey Avlon, and the song is called No Ties. This is a hip-hop artist from East London. The production on the track, it has a nice intro. I really like that a lot. It had hard-hitting drums. I thought it sounded great. For the vocals, he has a nice flow with passion, and you could just hear it in his voice. Lyrical content, well-written lyrics, and they have substance. Sound quality, very well-recorded and mixed. All in all, I thought it was an excellent song, excellent storytelling. There's a video that goes along with it. I really enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Next up is an artist called Jiggly Jones, and the song is called The Water and the Flower. The production on this track, I thought it was nicely produced. It's a very beautiful song. Very beautiful tra backing track in general. The vocals are good, and they fit the song well. He has a very unique voice, which adds to the whole song all, to, all in all. Lyrical content, I thought it was a well-written love song. Sound quality, recorded and mixed perfectly. All in all, it's a wonderful song. Very well done, and I did enjoy it a lot. Y'all check it out, let me know what you think. Next artist is Ethos, and the song is called Lionheart. This is a hip-hop artist, and for the production of his track, I thought it was nicely produced. It's very dramatic. It's an instrumental, so there's no vocals or lyrics involved, so I'm not going to comment on that, obviously. The sound quality is excellent, very well mixed. It's just a powerful instrumental, and it could be used for backing in music, could be used for background on TV. It's just got some dramatic power to it. I really enjoyed it. Go down, listen to it, let me know what you think in the comments. Next up is an artist named Kielpson. And the song is called Just Chill Out. This is a hip-hop instrumental from Poland. The track, I thought it was good. I like the drums. It's very catchy. Makes your head bounce. No vocals, so I can't come on on that. The sound quality is excellent. Thought it sounded great, well-mixed, well-recorded, all that. All in all, it's a strong instrumental. It's a mid-tempo track that I feel like anyone would want to flow to. I had to upload it to my SoundCloud because he didn't have the instrumental hosted anywhere that I could just give you all a link. So it's on my personal SoundCloud. That's why it says Torio and all that stuff. But it's in the link. Listen to it. Let me know what you guys think about it. Next up is a group called 100 Years Apart, and the song is called What's It Gonna Be? This is a pop rock track from Chicago, Illinois. The production on this is, it is a strong track with guitar, solid drums, I love the claps in the background. The vocals, she sounds great on the song. Excellent vocals, I really enjoyed her singing. Lyrical content, there, there's well-written lyrics, you cannot deny that. Sound quality, it was very well recorded and mixed. All in all, it's an excellent pop rock song. I absolutely love the vocals and there is like a passion in the voice that you could just hear y'all listen let me know what you think in the comments next up is an artist named nandez and the song is called humble stunt this is a hip-hop artist from compton california production i loved it it was a great track it's hit it has hypnotizing keys 
hard hitting drums, which I absolutely love in a good car system or in your home stereo, just pumps. As far as vocals, he flows very well, sounds great on the beat, and he doesn't miss a beat. Lyrical content, the lyrics are written well. There is some substance there. Sounds great, it's well mixed, well recorded. All in all, I enjoyed this song a lot. Very catchy, and makes you want to yell out the chorus with him. So check out the song, listen to the chorus, and all the other lyrics, of course, and let me know what you think. Next up, it's an artist named Boysanova. The song is called Flights Overseas. This is a hip hop artist from Canada. Production, the track is very well done, sounds excellent. Again, it sounds great in great speakers. I dig his voice, he flows very well. He has kind of like a rap sing style that a lot of modern hip hop has today. Lyrical content, the, they are well written lyrics, there's substance there. The sound quality, it's excellent. Well recorded and mixed. All in all, I really enjoyed this song. And the subject matter is really relatable if you listen to the lyrics. So check it out and let me know what you think. Next up is an artist named Reptorius, and the song is called Magical. This is a hip-hop artist from Guyana. The production on this track, it's a slow tempo track. It's still well produced. The vocals, he flows well over the track. He has a unique voice. And there's an artist featured on it named Latana. And she sings on the chorus and she has a wonderful voice. I really liked her a lot. The lyrical content, I thought they have substance and they're well written. Sound quality is great. All in all, it's a solid track. And the singer Latana, she sings flawlessly on the track. And she really gave the track life. Really made the track, so. I enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. And that is our 10 artists and bands for the week. I really enjoyed everyone's submissions and I hope y'all did too. I want to hear some comments. Please share this video so the artists and bands could get their shine so more people can hear them if you want your song mentioned on a friday go down below in the description and look there's directions down there of what you need to do to send the track to me i appreciate you all watching and i will see you next video